And just to think that they were gone, they're back. Hello guys, today I am going to do another rant on another Spongebob episode. And this time it's going to be on the episode called Roller Cowards. So with that said, cue the intro please. Yes, it had been such, it had been a while, but, but I'm back making Spongebob episodes rants on Spongebob ranting on Spongebob episodes that I hate. So, let's get started, shall we folks? Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've waited for, it's finally here. I am back making rants on Spongebob episodes that I hate. And yes, this is your buddy Jonathan once again, ranting on Roller Cowards, a Spongebob episode. So basically what the plot is, is doing, Spongebob is reading Gary a bedtime story, but... Patrick all of a sudden burges into Spongebob's house with the TV smash by smashing through the wall and shows him an important commercial for Glovewood's new scariest roller coaster ride called the Fiery Fistle Pain. They plan to go on it. They plan they plan to go on that, that ride at Glovewood. But the next day, which is the first day, it opens. And that night Spongebob had a nightmare that they both go, on, go to the ride, and guess what? If they fall into their graves, Spongebob all of a sudden wakes up shrieking that he doesn't want to go to the fiery fist of pain. But the next day, Patrick, ask, Patrick asks him, you ready, to you ready to ride? But then... Pa Patrick breaks into Spon Spongebob's bedroom really strangely after having the same nightmare at the same time. And they decided not to tell each other. Because why not? Because that's what the title is about. Them being cowards in this episode. That's what the title is about in this episode. So the bus then comes and they go into the glove world and they realize that it is a long line, long line to a, the new ride. So they decide to start going on the ride for toddlers called the Mitten. Oh my god, you serious? That's just, that's just really, ugh. I'll talk about it later on. And they get scared of it. And they end up bothering the toddler who was on the ride with them. That was very well said, toddler. Very well said. Just then, they see Larry, who went on the ride. Spongebob says that he did not go on the ride because he was hungry along with Patrick. Okay. Soon they, they eat ice cream. Patrick had used the bathroom and argues with, with his reflection in the mirror while Spongebob and his ice cream get into an argument and by and Spongebob hits himself with, the, with an ice cream. Which is stupid if you ask me. After when he says, I'll show you what scary looks like. Yeah, that's really stupid. Patrick and Spongebob want to tell the truth about each other, but the announcer says the glove ward is going to close in five minutes. Hearing that, they finally go on a fiery fist of pain. But as they are ready, the ride breaks, in, breaks and they f actually malfunctions, and they finally admit to each other that they were actually afraid to go on that ride, and they feel relieved. But after that, 
the ride gets fixed and they end up riding the roller coaster. And they've been petrified the whole time and they are really... And then at the end they were happy that they survived after the ride ends. They lose their spines at the end of the ride but chose to go again anyways. Oh my god. Having faced their fears as a... It, oh my god. Facing their fears. They want to go on it again. Are you serious? And yes, that's how it ends. What do I think about it? Really stupid episode if you ask me. Okay, first off. Patrick wanted to go on the roller coaster ride. And Spongebob made an agreement to go on it too. But after when he had nightmares. They were too petrified of telling the truth about going on the new roller coaster ride. And they didn't want to tell it until at the very end. They've been scared about this freaking roller coaster ride that they wanted to go on. Like, it's just a roller coaster ride. My god. Yes, people, I understand people do get scared at times, but... But this one, they acted really too childish. Spongebob and Patrick, they acted way too childish. Especially when they went on a toddler ride. Like, what the fuck? Why would they go on a toddler ride and get scared about that? That's really stupid. What the hell was the director thinking when they thought that this shit was a good idea? When it was... Actually, a, the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. And the toddler actually got annoyed and snapped at both of them. That was very well said, toddler. I know it's it's a fictional character, but... Even a toddler got annoyed by them. Which, that's how I felt about them throughout the entire episode. Very annoyed. Due to their cowardice. And the title really thumbs it up of what how they are in this episode. Bunches of cowards. And SpongeBob made a made a dumbest excuse saying that he was hungry rather than saying that he rather than admitting what he was actually afraid of. SpongeBob Really, Spongebob? Was that the best you got to tell Larry what's going on? You you said he, you were hungry and then all of a sudden you you uh, went to get something to eat. And Patrick did the same thing too. Patrick, Patrick used the bathroom while Spongebob was still petrified of the new roller coaster ride and the ice cream the ice cream him and his ice cream had a talk but then the ice cream says you want to see something scary i'll show you something scary and and Sp the ice cream and S spongebob spongebob took his ice cream and actually hits himself so many times god knows how many times with this, this ice cream like Come on, that's so stupid. Who the hell thought of that? Oh my god. Was was the directors that 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 dumb to think of something that that bizarre? Oh my god. And at the end, the after when they announce that it's gonna close, they quickly go on a ride and and yeah, some crazy shit happens. They get they get tied up after when they and guess what else happens? 
the roller coaster malfunctions for a little while, but after, but then they finally confess the truth about each other of them being so scared about the roller coaster ride. And after when, when the roller coaster stops malfunctions and starts working again, guess what? The SpongeBob and Patrick actually face their fears. Um, no. Because SpongeBob says he doesn't want to face his fears because he's too afraid of them. Wow, SpongeBob. Spongebob and Patrick are nothing but bunches of cowards. Oh my god. I couldn't stand either of them. They were that annoying. And crazy shit happens when they... When they uh go on that ride. Like... Like... Well... I, I want you to take a look at this. See that, guys? Like, wow. Words can't describe of how bizarre it is. And the, the skeletons comes out when they were, when they were screaming and writing. But then it goes back into their bodies. It comes out of their bodies at first and then goes in again. And SpongeBob and Patrick hold each other crying. And the, this, this... The woman said to them, Stop crying! The ride's over! And the guy says, It's over, you can get out. But do they learn their lessons? Absolutely not. After when they lose their spine, they said they want to go on it again. Are you kidding me? Instead of facing your fears and learning a valuable lesson and just going on it once, you decided to go again? My God. Bottom line, this is a this was a really stupid episode, and I thought the the jokes in it was really dumb as well, especially with the ice cream, with SpongeBob hitting himself with an ice cream, and Patrick just budging in for no reason. Oh my God! At the beginning, uh, there's so many things. Bizarre and wrong with it. But if you like this episode, that is totally fine. I'm fine with your opinion. For me, I thought this was a very bizarre and stupid, stupid episode. And I can't believe how much they botched up Spongebob and Patrick like that. It's so horrible. If you ask me how they botched them up like that, changed their personalities for the worse, this is awful. Especially with seasons 5 through 9. It was awful how they botched, botched up the characters like that from seasons 5 through 9. So yeah. Bottom line, this is the stupidest episode I've ever seen from Spongebob. So for my final rating for World of Cowards, it gets a uh, one out of seven horrendous SpongeBob episode. Well, guys, it looks like that's it. Thank you for watching. And the next SpongeBob episode that I'll be ranting on is Toy Store of Doom. So stay tuned for that. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe to my channel. And turn on notifications. And do not forget to send me a request. And I'll try to do them as soon as possible. This is me signing off. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. And peace out, y'all.